Hey there, it's John with Root Road, just doing another gear talk, uh, gear story. I wanted to talk about my SJ200. Um, I acquired this guitar uh, on Craigslist, actually, through a gentleman named uh, David Hawks Billings. And Davey, if you're watching, hi from Murfreesboro. Um, Davey was, uh, is an old picker uh, from the 80s. He wrote a lot of songs with uh, country artists back then. Uh, one of the ones of note at the time that he told me uh, was Chris Christopherson, which is kind of funny because I never knew Chris Christopherson as one as a uh, country singer, but he he was and is. I uh, actually remember Chris Christopherson as uh, Whistler's Whistler from Blade. <laughs> I was going to say Whistler's mother. No, Whistler from Blade. Uh, but anyway, um, I got this from him on Craigslist. He had two of these, actually. He had the studio version, and then he had... Um, this performance one and um, I purchased it from him it was just the guitar there was no electronics inside uh, that's something that I actually did a little bit later um, I had the LR bags anthem system installed which is really really cool um, any of you that just have a regular acoustic guitar um, and you're looking to upgrade look at the anthem it's really neat they've got um, the regular piezo system that's underneath the bridge uh, but there's also a condenser mic in there as well and what you're able to do is that the, the little control panel here, you can either use one whole thing that's the piezo or the other one uh, as the condenser mic, or you can blend the two. When you blend the two, you get a really cool mic slash direct guitar sound, which is really, really cool, and it sounds great from stage. So definitely, um, if you're looking at doing something like that, or if you want to buy a, a Gibson SJ200 that's already got the anthem in it, so you're all set there. Um, but it's definitely something worth checking out. This guitar is a workhorse. I have played it hard. Uh, I got it back in 2015, and it has been ever reliable since. I've only had one setup done on it, and that's um, playing it in the rain and doing all kind of crazy stuff, uh, things you probably shouldn't do with an electric or acoustic guitar. But, you know, one does what one can when he has to. Uh, that being said, this guitar is worth every bit of the money that was spent on it to get it. And um, this was a gift from my wife to me, uh, which is also makes it very special. And it's one that I like to play as much as possible wherever I can. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little gear review. Um, I don't want to make these too long, but I hope to see you soon later this week. Thanks a lot.